Um, hi, uh, this is my first 3D printed uh, design, um, which is, uh, you're seeing it right now. Uh, basically, it's a knob for the oven. Uh, and the reason I designed this was uh, these knobs had broken. Uh, now, I got these, but uh, uh, I didn't have them uh, at that time. And uh, <clears throat> so, out of curiosity, I wanted to design one for myself uh, just because I wanted to learn 3D printing. Uh, and uh, also, I thought it would be fun. Uh, so, uh, basically, what I did was I took measurements with this tape. You can see it's a very crude way of measuring uh, <clears throat> something that you want to uh, print in 3D. Uh, but I measured the width and uh, the the depth of this knob. And also, there's a notch that you can see. Uh, so this was crucial for the design. And uh, so I took those measurements uh, and ordered that into draw design on paper and then I went on to create a rough uh, design in SOLIDWORKS without any proportion because I'm relatively new in SOLIDWORKS uh, and uh, after I designed a, so uh, a rough part then the second part I designed that uh, with exact measurements so as you can see this does work and if you push it you can turn the stuff on and if you do this way uh, it turns off and uh, let me show you here uh, this is basically it you can see the little notch on the top uh, and that's where it fits in so it's doing its job perfectly and uh, you can see it's going in and the way it works you have to push in and then you rotate it um, it's a little bit bent, which is fine because when I got these ones, uh, they also has the same an angle. Uh, so next I'm going to show you how I designed this uh, in SOLIDWORKS. So this is the design part where I first draw the design uh, and you can see that the measurements 6 millimeter uh, die is 7 millimeter. Uh, so uh, and the depth is 12 millimeter. So keeping that keep keeping that in mind, I designed a rough part first. So the first part that I designed was without any proportion. It was just uh, testing how to draw a part, and uh, you can see that it's open on both sides. So uh, the the push mechanism would not work on this one, uh, and I hadn't thought about that particular. Uh, push process so so this is the one that uh, I created first um, this is without any proportion and it just basically same design is I was going to make the part <clears throat> now um, now this is the final one that I made um, and uh, it's uh, I made this using exact proportion uh, so, uh, <clears throat> let me again put it the right way there. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, was a, the measurement that I took was very crude. Um, so, uh, the diameter that I took here was uh, 7 millimeter, which uh, turned out to be too tight actually. So, uh, although it works, uh, but it was too tight. Um, so, this was the one, and uh, this was the my final design, uh, if I can show you different parts of it, uh, it's basically, uh, I can roll it back, roll it back, and this part uh, was, you know, I added, I closed that later, so, and uh, this is, So yeah. So yeah, this was this is how I made this part, uh, and uh, maybe I'll, I'll show a complete design it at another time. But this is the filling, uh, and then this is the protrusion at the back. 
um, and this is the closing of this part uh, and uh, these two are I think I just drew these names but then uh, I didn't uh, print them uh, because uh, uh, it was just extra work so this whole thing uh, costed me only uh, 100 Pakistani rupees uh, which basically is less than a dollar. So um, it was a fun experiment uh, and I thought I'd share with you guys as well.